all right uh, students good morning here we are trying to define the sorting in prolog and we will be covering the bubble sort algorithm which is a part of our syllabus in unit 4 so uh, what is our aim we want to define a function sort in which we will specify the relationship either less than or greater than and we will give the list and the expected is if we give the less than then the list is returned in ascending order if we give greater than then the list is returned in descending order this is the purpose of this particular program or synopsis of the program now uh, there is a function check that we will be using it is defined with relationship a and b where a and b are atoms now we define a variable goal and it's defined with equal to double dot this is a syntax in flow and then we will use a list in which we will copy this relation a and b as it is now what will happen when we call goal function is called what will happen this whole list is executed on the prompt and a relation b true or false value will be evaluated if a is related to b suppose this is less than so a is less than b then true will be returned if a is not less than b then false will be returned so this is how this check function is going to work now coming to the bubble sort algorithm itself bubble sort will consist of two predicates one is bubble sort and one is swap now uh, if the list is already sorted then we want to copy the list as it is in the output and return this as answer if the list is not already sorted then whatever relation is given the list and the new list is given to the swap now what swap will do swap will take the first two elements of the list if they are in their proper order then swap will call itself recursively for the next pair and if they are not in proper sorted order then swap will reorder them so for this two definitions are given for swap here in the first definition whatever list is provided here that is copied into this the, this particular element so what will happen first element will come in a second element will come in b and all the remaining list will go into list now this a and b are compared using the check function which we have just discussed now if b is related to a returns true then b is copied here as the first element a is copied at the second element and this new list is returned over here if this doesn't this check doesn't return true it returns false then we will call the next function the next implementation of predicate in this now the reordering is not required as a and b were in the correct order initially and therefore we copy the first element as it is and then with the remaining list we call swap again recursively so that for the remaining elements it can check if the order is correct if order is correct it will keep on calling itself recursively otherwise it will call, it will reorder the elements and after we return from swap then we use cut here because we don't want backtracking to happen and then we call bubble sort with the new list as our answer now what will happen if this returns false then we will go back from here we will come here now if swapping did not happen then we want to copy this list into the final answer as it is if swapping does happen then we want to call with the new list the bubble sort algorithm again. Alright, we come to an end with this. Thank you.